Keep your bass lines. Play the roots of the chords. G. B in the bass. E7. That sounds better than... I want to hear the bass motion. And again, you get it here. That note is beautiful. No, C sharp. Yeah, so why would you say to this? You know, A to E. A is okay. It goes up to, goes up to C sharp. Make inversion just because I want to play an inversion. You might be playing a worse bass line. You know, this is a strong bass line. Just the melody of the thing, right? Melody of the bass line. But check it out. It's confusing. Put the important note in the bass. It helps. You don't have to do that much else. It's just the bass. It's, it's already strong. Don't make inversions because you know the inversion. You know? Make, make the bass line and the melody sound good. Then you fill in the rest of the harmony. Yeah. If you solo it, I think you always have to think about making a strong bass line. If the melody is there to help you, great. If the melody, if you know what note is coming in the melody, then you know even more what bass line. But you have to observe the bass, the harmony, how it moves, so to make the strongest bass line. Sometimes inversions make the bass line strange. You know, you can use inversions. You can use pedal points. You can you can do different things, but. All I'm saying is don't automatically do an inversion of the chord. The root might be that might be nice. Start start with the root and the melody, the bass and the melody, and then figure out what has to be in the middle. You might find an inversion somewhere, but you have to be, you know, you have to make sure that like, the bass player is playing a bass line. He wants to make sure his bass part makes sense and has motion. You know it when you hear it. If it's clear. You know, I mean, I just showed the example of if you say, right, the chord is B, so when he was slick, he made an inversion. But really, it puts, it puts the, a, a, another, it's kind of misleading, it sounds like G to D, it doesn't really sound like a B chord. So it's almost like it's more clear to go to uh, the three, so, you know, right, I will, you know, C, Sounds nice. The melody is a flat five. I mean, that's strong. But also, if I'm going to go to B, I would want to go to C before that. Now that's a strong bass. That's moving in fourths and then a half step. But it takes, takes your ear right to the two chord. Like the 
bottom of the music, but it has to move in a direction, just like I was saying about lines. The lines have to move in a direction. You know, every all harmony is about direction. It's about where are we landing, where are we going. You know, five is up, one is down. You know, up, down. You just hop along while you're up. You're down for a minute. You're not down for very long. You keep moving. 